6-2, your Moose John Warriors over the Seattle Thunderbirds. We'll go back downstairs, joined by tonight's first star, Braden Yeager, outside the Warriors' locker room. Uh, Braden, congratulations on the victory tonight. Uh, talk about what you feel was the biggest adjustment compared to last night's game against the Calgary. Well, yeah, obviously, um, we played pretty fast tonight. I think, you know, our, all four lines were going, and um, I think we just – Big thing for us uh, going to this game was just being more simple. And, um, you know, sometimes it's, you know, you got to make the same, same boring plays every time, but it's just keeping it simple and, and uh, playing fast. And obviously it was a, you know, we're coming against the uh, best teams in the CHL. And uh, I thought we were preparing and kind of just bouncing back. Braden, I thought in the offensive zone, it was the Warriors' second efforts on the four check that were a big difference here tonight. Uh, how did you feel? Did you feel as though those second opportunities, winning those wall battles, good support, you know, uh, being connected in the offensive zone allowed you guys to create more attack time and pressure on Seattle? Yeah, 100. Uh, you know, anytime you can, uh, you know, recover the puck in the ozone, you, you know, just creates more uh, offensive zone time and, um, you know, create more chances. And, um, yeah, I thought, you know, all four lines, like I said, we're, we're rolling tonight. And, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, when you got all four lines going and uh, you're setting yourself up for a pretty good game. You're one of the leaders on the team, Braden, so I don't mind asking you this. You guys have beat all the top teams. When you guys – is it a preparation thing when you're playing against these top-end teams? Because your game from night to night can seem very different. Fantastic here tonight. Uh, but what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think yeah, kind of you kind of just nailed it on the head there. I think you know preparation is uh, you know under uh, underestimated uh, part of the game, and um, you know I think uh, you know like like you said tonight, uh, you know we played uh, one of our better games of the season, and I think you know I think uh, yeah, kind of like you said, just um, you know when we're going against a you know really good team, we seem to you know kind of prepare a little better, and uh, I think that's one thing we got to get better at. Uh, you know kind of going against the bottom bottom teams is uh, preparing like uh, we're playing uh, you know, a good team. I know Coach O'Leary expects everybody to be able to to play with anybody oh. at any given time. Uh, there was a subtle change. Uh, today's game, you switched to a different line, you and Ryder Korzak. How'd you feel about that? And obviously it worked with four points here tonight. Yeah, I thought it was great. I think, um, you know, obviously uh, you know, our line was, was pretty good tonight. And, you know, obviously playing with uh, – Ats and Larry, they're, you know, two pretty, two pretty offensive players. And, uh, you know, they see the game pretty well. And, um, you know, Ats is, you know, he's hot right now. So I'm just going to try and put the puck on his stick. And, you know, he's uh, he's putting him in right now. And obviously, Kors' line, he, um, you know, they did good together and, um, you know, created lots of offense as well. Brain, I did an interview with you earlier this year. I don't know if you remember it. I asked you what part of your skill set you feel as though you don't get enough credit for. It. And you said your playmaking ability. Four assists here tonight. Three of them primary assists, more other great plays. You think about the, the, the pass from behind the net. Do you feel as though you're starting to get a little more recognition with your playmaking ability this season? Yeah, I, I think so. I think, uh, you know, something I've been uh, focusing on, like kind of like you said at the you know, start of the year, something that I uh, you know, kind of want to focus on. And, um, you know, just, just being, uh, you know, more dynamic and, you know, finding different ways to, you know, produce and, um, yeah, I thought uh, tonight uh, was, you know, a good job by, by our line. And obviously, you know, I don't get apples without, uh, you know, them putting the puck in the net. So I like the assist, but don't stop shooting, kid. Don't <laughs> stop shooting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Braden, lastly, I guess, uh, it, SpongeBob night. Did you grow up watching SpongeBob? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, when I was really young, uh, you know, watched it a little bit, but uh, no, not, uh, not anymore. <laughs> you trying to sneak your jersey out? <laughs> no, no, they're they're nice though. I like them. <laughs> would, have, would have been nice to get some little, maybe a little bit better socks, but uh, you know, those, those are nice. Uh, Braden Yeager, tonight's first star. Hey, Braden, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the win. Good luck next week, where the Warriors have a busy schedule, four games and five nights. Thank you, guys.